uh, it's still six and a half with a total of 46 and a half. I would like that. Yeah. All right. I'll go Packers 17, Eagles 23. 23 okay, you, you love to do that. You love to give that Packers. <laughs> people do people do that on the it, it, people do that on the uh on our 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 uh our YouTube comments. They love doing uh, that because they picked up <laughs> yeah. it, 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 but one of these days it actually will be the I'll actually pick the opponent. Maybe they're I'm I'm pr- <laughs> I look at their schedule. Actually, technically Dallas still has to play Washington, so they have a little bit harder schedule. It's very it's obviously mm-hmm. almost mirrors the Eagles. Right. I'm well sorry. I say I say Packers 26 equals 20. Whoa. I do. Wow. Why, why do you think the Packers will beat them? Um, I just think the Eagles are, are really struggling to figure things out. I know it's just one game without Dallas Goddard. And I think the – I still get scared of Aaron Rodgers Sunday night. I, th- I think, you know, they have two good running backs. They have a good running game. It's one of their best things. I still think you can run against the Eagles. One game uh, doesn't prove that you can't. And again, those two guys, I think, are going to put the the fear of God in Jonathan Gannon. He's going to play a lot of soft coverage, and Uh-oh. they're going to exploit it. it but it's really, right, that I just think the, it's really that I think the Eagles' offense, though, is not going to be as prolific as it's been. Oh, oh, there's no doubt. Uh, 